Makita hand tools have got a bad reputation and in this video, I might change your mind. Hey guys, Jonathan here and today I've got something special and that is my favorite power tool brand, which is Makita, known for the power tools, not especially known for the hand tools, but I've managed to gather everything I could find and some of these aren't on sale anymore and I've had to hunt all over the internet to bring together every Makita hand tool I could find and there's some absolute bangers here. There's some really cool stuff I didn't even know existed, but I've brought it all together. We're gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you my top five and we're gonna put it all in an epic hand tool panel. Now we've done a few of these before. Bosch, exhibit A, Dewalt, exhibit B, Go and check out the playlist here. We've done hand tool panels and big power tool walls for nearly every brand, but we've not done one in teal. So it's about time we did. Makita is the most teal tool out of them all. So let's look at the tools and let's lay them out on the foam. Right, so let's start with these kind of multi-tool kits from Makita. They've got a few of these, to be fair. There are a couple of others, but there was a lot of crossover. From the pictures, I could see most of the stuff was doubled up, except for these two. This has got a lot more sockets and ratchets in it. There's a few differences between them, and I thought it was worth taking a look at both of them. And I think it's these kind of kits that give Makita hand tools the bad reputation, to be honest, because the single items do seem a bit better than these kind of multi kits that are a bit cheap and cheerful. So starting over here, we've got half inch ratchet driver. This is a bit of a staple of the Makita tool kit, this cheap and cheerful screwdriver type. These don't last very long. You see these in cheap color coded tool kits on Amazon. You see these turning up all the time. Let's have a look at the spanners. They've got Makita written on them. That's not bad. So we've got some actually Makita branded spanners and then just a pair of bullnose pliers. Nothing else is standing out to me. This is more typical. So six inch adjustable chucked in, no brand on it. So that could be in any tool kit. And that's typically what you see. The fact that they've got Makita on these combi spanners is a surprise. I wouldn't have expected that. And then we've got a small set of quarter inch sockets up to 13 mil. We're missing a five. And then there's a little storage little area here. Missing a socket. That's not a good sign. The couple of positives from this kit are we've got some branded bullnose pliers in the nice teal. This doesn't seem too bad. Nice heavy duty thing. Ratchet bit driver. Again, pretty cheap and nasty. That. I think this is one of the best bits, really. Makita branded spanners. Properly in the mold in that logo. We've got 17, 14, 13, 12, 10. So not a bad set. Over this side, a different style of Makita screwdriver. This one's better, isn't it? It's a pity you only get two. We've got a knife. That's different. I did pick up a couple of Makita utility knives that are better than that. These are not much use to anyone, are they? I see a lot of DIYers who love a little short stubby hammer. Not a big fan myself, but there you go. Got a Makita version of one now. Again, we've got a better Makita tape measure, but this is also a classic example, just a sticker on top of a generic kind of teal tape measure. That's quite nice. You can see all this stuff is just made in entirely different factories, totally different style of teal, different colored teal, different style. This is like some sort of satin finish. This is like chrome. That's a much finer tooth as well on this one. Two totally different pliers. These ones do seem a lot better. A much nicer satin finish on the chrome. These are the real kind of cheapest version. And you get some long nose ones. So we're only missing snips. We've got a quarter inch ratchet driver in this one. This has got like a quarter inch T-handle. No Makita logo on it. And then obviously in this one, we've got a whole range of drill bits. So this is kind of like the hand tool and drill bit set. Whereas this one is focusing a lot on sockets and mechanical, but you wouldn't really call that a mechanical kit and you wouldn't call that a drill bit kit. This one is the 80 piece. It doesn't have a name, it's just called the E15104. This one is the E08458, 87 piece. So I don't know if that's a strong start or not, but we've had a look through them and there's certainly some bits of good Makita stuff. That's those two, but let me show you the good stuff. Now I was giving the screwdrivers a bit of grief in these two sets. You can see we've got two different styles of screwdriver. Well, Makita actually have a third type they have a full on screwdriver set and not just a screwdriver set, they also have a Torx driver set. Now I hunted these down online because I could see there's only two screwdrivers in that one and only four dodgy looking ones in that one. So let's hope these are a bit better. This is the standard screwdriver set and you can see already it's a third type of Makita screwdriver. It's not too far off that one. Certainly the same color. This is like a different shade of teal, but that one's very similar with the same print on the top. But this one is definitely the best out of the three. These are pretty cool. A different kind of screwdriver grip than anything else I've seen before. So it's a totally unique screwdriver grip. All nicely marked Makita. Not the best, but definitely not the worst and better than those sets. That's a full set of screwdrivers to add to this Makita tool panel. And on top of that, we've got the matching set of Torx drivers. That's a pretty good base for a tool kit. So I don't know how much of these two we're gonna be putting in this wall, but the Torx and the screwdrivers are both going in. Reminds me of the Bosch tool panel, to be fair. In the Bosch tool panel, we had the very same thing, a set of standard screwdrivers and then a set of Torx drivers. So maybe we'll lay them up along the top. We've also got a set of Allen keys. Now they didn't have a set of normal Torx keys in one of these bundles, but this was quite unusual. Have you ever seen a set of Allen keys like that? Folds out, but everything's pointing forward rather than pointing off to the side. Still got belt clip. They seem pretty good. Ball end Allen keys. They're not uh, engraved or marked Makita on the actual Allen keys. The holder's pretty quirky. 
in it. Same shade of teal, not quite. We're getting there. Now, before I forget, I actually picked up five extra sets of these from CTS Ironmongery, and we are going to be giving them away. We love a giveaway on the channel. You know how we do it. We've got five sets. All you've got to do is drop a comment, but I've got something else to add to this bundle, which I'll tell you at the end. But let's get back to it. Now, I saw this exact tape measure in Germany. I think this was in Bauhaus. And I noted in there that the sticker with the Makita logo is a different shade of teal to the body. It's just not very satisfying, really. Also, why is it seven and a half meters? I got this one in B&Q a long time ago for about six or seven quid. And this one's eight meters. You don't often see seven and a half meter tapes, do you? It's three, five, ten, or three, five, eight, and ten. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad tape. I think I prefer the seven and a half meter one to the eight meter one. It's just that sticker's a bit weird, isn't it? Hey-ho, I think we'll include that one. We won't include that one. It's never a bad thing to have an extra tape measure in a wall, is it? So we will include the little three meter Makita one. And that being said, we'll also include this set of Allen keys. It's just given me a bit of an idea of what's going in this wall. It's never a bad thing to have some little short Allen keys and we've got the long Allen keys. You can see though these different shades of teal. So that's all the standard items excluding my top five but we will include a few of these in the wall. So we'll be putting in the pliers Makes sense to include both of those and they are the best ones. We'll also be including this Makita spanner set. And they are some of the common sizes really. 10 mil, 12, 13, 14 and 17. And the main thing is they've got Makita written on them. So they are genuine Makita hand tools, which is nice. What else is in this pack that we're gonna keep? So we'll be keeping the half inch and the quarter inch ratchets. They're nice. And then we will include some of the sockets in the wall, but I won't move them across now. The knife's pretty cool. That reminds me of our 18 mil snap off knife. It's got a load of blades stored inside it. Nice quality thing with the Makita logo that can go in the wall as can the little T handle. I think that's great with the bits. We'll put the bits in later. So I think that's everything we're gonna be taking out of these two kits. All I've got to show you now is my top five items and these all came individually. Took a bit of finding online to be fair. Well, let me show you number five. So in the number five spot is this thing. Have you ever seen an adjustable spanner with a mole grip built in? Because I haven't. This was a first for me. Took a bit of finding this one. I saw pictures of it, but I couldn't find anywhere to buy it. Now I will put links to where I got these things down in the description. I think I ended up getting it from Japan to be fair. So this thing shipped from the other side of the world. I wouldn't recommend getting yourself one, but I wanted to show it you because it's an example. Makita can do innovative hand tools. Now they're always innovating with the power tools, aren't they? They've got an endless range of stuff. I've been using the Makita 18 volt range since day one of using power tools. So I love their stuff. And I've always wanted to see some decent Makita hand tools. So this did take me by surprise. It's pretty standard, really. It's, it's basically a nice smoothing shifter, which goes up to about 34 mil, but then it locks down. So you put it on a nut and it'll clamp it. So pretty quirky thing. And that's number five. <laughs> So fourth on the list is a utility knife. Now I'm a bit of a fan of utility knives. Every quirky tool video I've done, I've pretty much found a utility knife that I've liked. And this is no exception. Makita have two utility knives. And I didn't know they did any. Until I started doing a real deep dive on Makita hand tools, I didn't know they had any utility knives. Now they've got these two. So this one's the better looking of the two, I think. I mean, there's nothing of note to speak about really. It's got um, kind of a standard release mechanism on the blade. It feels quite nice and solid. One button to go back in and it matches. A lot of these Makita kind of multi-tool kits have some of the most basic, cheapest tools in them. So when Makita are bringing out individually packaged hand tools, it's nice to see that these are a step up in quality. There's nothing innovative about that one. Let's have a look at this one. Again, it's a quirky shape. I've not seen another utility blade in this shape or form factor. Quite comfortable in the hand, this one. More comfortable than that one. And then the mechanism here, you kind of have to pull this slider back and it folds in. And that's the mechanism for the blade. So not bad. And if you love Makita, not a bad pickup. The fact that you can have a Makita utility knife, which is solid. That's a metal body. That was pretty smart, actually. I think that has now become a favorite just because of the grip in the hand. So that's number four, quirky utility knives. Did you know Makita did those? Let me know in the comments. And if there's any Makita tools I haven't got or you've not seen already, let me know because I read all the comments and I'm always up for talking tools. So that's number four. Let me show you number three. <laughs> Third item on the list is another hand tool that took some tracking down, and that is the Makita claw hammer. This thing was not for sale anywhere. I couldn't find any links on Google. Eventually, it popped up on Amazon. I think it was 60 quid, which is a heck of a price for something, which is it's quite a basic looking claw hammer, really. But I want this to be a complete Makita hand tool. So it was worth it for the completeness of this project. It's third on the list purely because I didn't know they made one. When I got it, I was pleasantly surprised. It does feel really nice quality. It's a nice forged steel thing. It's nicely branded. Did, but that's pretty much where it stops. There's not much more I can say about it. It's like a hen's tooth, this thing. It was hard to track down, but I got it in the end, and that's number three. Let me show you number two. So number two on the list is another quirky, individually packed hand tool. And it's this thing, a pipe grip, but with some sort of pry bar built in on the bottom. None of these tools have a name, like as if it's a novelty, quirky product. Like you could give that a name. You could call it, you know, the super pipe grips, the pipe pry, the pry piper. <laughs> 
<laughs> Makita Pride Piper, that's what they should have called it. It's a set of pipe grips, they call it the B6586, 250 mil. More jaw positions, so basically it's very standard in the way that it's just like a Cobra grip, but you know, not a super quality one, but it's got this thing down here, which when I saw it online, it drew my eye, because it's just a quirky tool. Like I say, I was looking for Makita hand tools, and every time I saw something that wasn't your bog standard, I was, well, I was genuinely surprised. I was thinking, well, blooming it. They're trying, the Makita are trying. I fail to see how often that's gonna be coming in handy. You use these typically for pipes and plastic fittings and trying to undo kind of big brass couplings and stuff. Why you need two pries at the same time, one's kind of blocking the other as well. I'm not sure really, but it was interesting and it's quirky and it's a bit of innovation. Whether or not it's good innovation is a matter for dispute down in the comments. And this panel did need some pipe grips. So there we go, it's on the wall. And that leads us to number one. Let me show you my top pick from Makita. Now, number one on the list is the Makita 10.8 volt impact gun and combi drill set. Now, these things were for sale in the UK for a while, but by the time I wanted a pair, they were no longer for sale in white. You can still get these in teal online, and I think in different countries, you might be able to get them in some other colors, but in the UK, White was the color I wanted and I couldn't get them until they popped up on Facebook and I managed to get this pair like new for 120 quid. I was pretty happy with that. And they're not quite a hand tool, but all of my Makita power tools are 18 volt and they're not gonna go in the power tool wall. So the place for them is this hand tool wall. And I was quite keen to show you the bargain I picked up. These things are really good as well. I'm really pleased. This should be great for the smoothing spinner. It's a bit smaller, smaller form factor, not as heavy or bulky. So I think that is a great little pickup and it can go in this wall and it just completes it quite nicely. Have any of you guys use these 10.8 volt Makita Duo set. You used to be able to get this at quite a good deal. The price online seems to be going up on these. Some of these were listed on eBay at like 200 quid. So that rounds up my top five. I've still got some gaps, so I might have to bring in a few of the tools back out the kits to fill this thing up, and then we can cut it all in and get it into a frame. <laughs> There we go, that is all they outsorted. Pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. There's a few little gaps. I reckon I could squeeze a few more tools into this, but that is the entire Makita tool range, pretty much. Let me know if you think I've missed a Makita hand tool. Something's jumping out of you that I didn't pick up, but I'm pretty sure I got everything. And I used the entire tool kit out of this, bare a couple of screwdrivers, the dodgy looking ones. And I used most of this kit, spare the drill bits basically. And it's all on here with the drills, with a few extras, with all the individual tools I got. The layout is pretty much there. We're gonna have all the screwdrivers, torque drivers in a row. We've got the knives all together. We've got the half inch sockets with the half inch driver, quarter inch sockets, quarter inch driver, spanners in a row. Pretty happy with it. And obviously I've got to add some finger pulls to it too. So we've left some gaps for that. So all I've got to do now is cut the foam. And when it comes to cutting foam, it's really simple. You just place the item where you want it to go, cut around it and peel back the foam. And to do that, you need a basic cutting kit. Now these come free with most orders at shadowfoam.com. We'll put a link in the description if you want to sort out your tools with some shadow foam. But the main thing you need is an anti-cut glove. Whenever you're using a scalpel, you have to make sure you're wearing an anti-cut glove. These are super comfortable, shadow foam branded, lovely, I love them. Next thing you need is a scalpel with a fresh blade fitted. And then it's a simple case. So placing the item where you want it to go, I'm just gonna double check it's nice and square. And then you just cut around it with a scalpel and you're basically just looking to capture the silhouette on the foam. So we're just using it like a pencil, holding the scalpel hard up to the item and trying to keep it square to the foam or perpendicular. We don't want to be cutting at an angle. We're literally trying to just draw the silhouette of the tool onto the foam. Once you've gone all the way around, you can take the item out of the way and you should be able to not even detect the cut you've made because it's such a sharp blade. Then we can go back and we're making that cut deeper. So this span is only about five to eight mil deep. It's not very deep, but we wanna make sure we've cut down past that point. So I wanna go past eight mil. So I'm cutting down to about 15 mil here. Being a 50 mil sheet, I could go even deeper than that if I wanted to, it wouldn't matter. I can really overshoot it. The main thing is I've gone deep enough. Once you've cut all the way around, you just push your finger down one end and then you're looking for that first seam line and then you can just pull it towards you and then just chase the peel out. You're not peeling it from one end like a banana. You're looking to just chase it along like this. And there we go, that is the first item done. It's as easy as that. And it's the same technique for every item. If it's a spanner, a screwdriver, or even if it's the drill, you've just got to peel out more layers basically. So that's the first one done. Let me cut all the rest. <laughs>
there we go. That is all the cutting done. And I'm really happy with that. That has actually filled that panel nicely. There's not really any obvious gaps. I spread it out a little bit more than I usually would. We've got all the half inch sockets next to the half inch driver, quarter inch next to the quarter inch. It's all nice and logical. Really happy with that. I cut all of the finger pulls too. So for the tracks here, I just literally use the width of a ruler. So a ruler's width for a nice track there, a nice track there. And then you can see a few semicircles. Well, I just use our stencil kit for that. They're available on the website. Links in the description. So that's all the foam cutting done. All I've got to do now is build a panel for this thing and put a French cleat on the back and that way I can switch out this backdrop behind me. I can take down panels, put up the Makita one. So let's build the panel. is the Makita hand tool panel all done up on the wall on a French cleat. Pretty happy with the layout and I added one tool. Can you spot the tool I added that I didn't talk about? I added one item into that wall just to get the layout looking really good. And if you're a Makita tool fan, is there something I've missed or is there something I should have took a closer look at? I think there's some really cool items. These two stand out to me. There's some stuff though that falls a bit short to be honest, but they're getting there. They're clearly working on it Makita, so hopefully they can keep improving. But that being said, we've done a few cool panels now and I can't wait to show you the full collection of all the tool panels together. The hand tool panels, the power tool panels, it's a, gonna be a big reveal when it's all done. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Now I did mention earlier about the five Allen key sets. So make sure you drop a comment below, subscribe. As always, you'll be entered. It's a really simple prize draw. But in this one, we're also gonna include one of these Shadow Foam t-shirts. You probably see me in it every week. We actually sell these on the website and we send them out to all the different collaborations we've done over the years. So we've got some real good famous names who wear this t-shirt. Jimmy DeResta, just last week, was racing around in his go-kart in one. And that's kind of what inspired me to think, I wanna see more Shadow Foam t-shirts out in the wild. So to start with, we're giving five away and we've got these in sizes as well, down to extra, extra small, all the way up to 5XL. So you can let us know your t-shirt size. We'll send you one of those. And all you've got to do is comment and subscribe. And if you want a t-shirt, you can also buy one. There's a little bar of products right below this video. There's a t-shirt there and you can get one of these. They're usually $24.99 and they're 25% off at the moment. So go and grab yourself one. It's a little side quest of mine to see more Shadow Foam t-shirts out in the wild. I'd love to see someone. I've never seen someone just wandering around in a Shadow Foam t-shirt other than my team. <laughs> So there we go. Go and grab yourself a t-shirt, drop a comment while you're down there because you might win an extra one and you'll get the Makita Allen keys. We'll draw the prize very, very soon. We don't leave it very long and that comes out in another future video so you won't miss it. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.